Hi, my name is Charlie Thorburn. Welcome to Mordor Gundogs. This is Waffle, and he's here with his weekly update. Hopefully, you'll continue to follow Waffle through his his career with us and off to his new home. And he's going to eventually end up in the in the on the other side of the Atlantic. Um, but what we're going to show you today is just the progression of what where he is compared to where he was a week ago. So we've seen Waffle tugging around on the lead like a crazy little frog, and he still does a little bit of that. But he's much much calmer. He's learning how to sit. He's learning how to self, have a little bit of self-control. Waffle, heel. 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 So he's still jumping up like mad, but that's fine. He's a cocker. You always know cocker people because they've got dirty trousers. But what he's doing is he's, he's generally walking reasonably well on my left-hand side. He's getting the idea of following me around with that nice loose lead, okay? Sit. Now we're starting to interject that, that healing because we just want to get him to heal for a very short period of time. We're just starting to interject that healing with a few sits. Heal. Heal. Sit. Good boy. And then his reward for his, for his hard work is he gets his little retrieve, which he's now, which he's now dropped. Waffle. But that's okay, because this is, this is all about showing you the, the reality and the real progress and the, backs, the, the steps backwards of a young dog training. Two minutes ago, if I'd thrown a retrieve for him, he probably would have brought it straight back. Just then he decided, oh, I'm gonna drop it and sniff the grass. That's what happens, okay? We're gonna try one more though. What we can't do is keep trying and keep trying and letting him fail. So we're gonna just do one more. This time he picks it up, he brings it back. Lots of praise while he's got it in his mouth and we get it off him in the best possible way that we can. So, tiny little bit of healing, tiny little bit of sitting, tiny little bit of, of uh, retrieving, tiny little bit of cuddling, and then a little bit of just running away from him. Hello. And getting him to follow me around, okay? Engaging him with me as much as I can. The more he smells over there, the more I run off over here, and I try and hide from him. And as soon as he sees me, he comes over and finds me. Cocker Spaniels, in general, have a short concentration span. Unless it's for something really fun, like chasing a pheasant. And they can concentrate all day. But they've got a short concentration span. He's a puppy, so he's got a short concentration span. The combination of all those things, we've just done a really short little session. As I say, a little bit of healing, a little bit of sitting, a little bit of retrieving, a little bit of free running. We might then repeat all of that again, do exactly the same thing again. Another little bit of healing, another bit of sitting, and another bit of retrieving and another bit of free running. But that's it, keep it short, keep it simple. Because little bits of success is what Waffle needs at the moment, not little bits of failure. And little bits of failure come from trying to do too much. I hope this helps, and I hope you enjoy seeing Waffle every week. And remember, you get out what you put in.